All right, welcome to Raw's video blog number two, also still the vlog. Um, going ahead and just remind you that we are now officially sponsored by Amp Energy Drink. Amp it up with the flavor of pee and poop mixed together. Tolerable. Okay, um, first thing I want to go over is that my glasses are busted up. Um, let me go ahead and go in for the close-up here. Yes, this is how I'm existing in public. And I've got one tiny eye! Okay. Um, so yeah, no hilarious story there other than I was sleeping on the couch because my wife does not allow me actually to sleep in a bed where I may, I may touch her. So anyway, rolled over, broke my glasses. Unfortunately, I needed some way to exist in the real world and actually drive my vehicle. And um, so yes, my dad worked tirelessly pulling this off. This is the result of hours of work. Um, and then was oddly offended when I didn't want to wear them to work. Who knew? So yeah, so I'm going to be looking like this for the next couple of days because since we don't have a lens crafters here in town, I can't get my glasses in an hour. Um, the best I can do is apparently 10 days. So anyway, there we go. That's what's up with my glasses. Um, next thing, uh, I am probably going to be banned from Walmart for the rest of my life. Um, and it's not my fault. Um, my wife says it's my fault, but here's, here's what it comes down to. I like reversible belts. I think it makes more sense to buy a reversible belt. Why buy a brown belt and then buy a black belt? I mean, I've already got two of those from the karate studio anyway, but why buy each of those separately when I can buy them in one device? Exactly. That's why I like convertibles. That's why I like music DVDs that also come with the CD. And that's why when I order a double cheeseburger, I make it two open-faced hamburgers. It just makes sense. It's like a two-for-one deal. Anyway, so my wife's point was, all your reversible belts break every time you buy one. So to show her, I bought another one. Um, and to be fair, I was noticing that the little rotating part was getting looser and looser, um, if that makes sense to anybody. Uh, so one day, I was off work, taking Jackson to Walmart, um, was walking out of the store, and I heard a ka -ding! And that was the sound of my reversible belt snapping into several pieces, just like this. Yes, and when that happens, since I have to buy comically oversized um, big and tall department hiking shorts so that one, the uh, shorts fit me, and then two, they don't actually come down to my ankles thanks to my teeny tiny stubby legs. So anyway, since I was wearing oversized pants to begin with, they immediately just drop to the ground right as I'm stepping over the threshold out of Walmart into the real world, into possibly the busiest part of the store. So as I stand there, shocked, pushing a cart, just horrified that Justin's classy boxers are the only thing keeping the world from seeing, you know, all my goods and services, Jackson starts cracking up. So now at this point, I've got one, people turning to look at, you know, a half-naked man. And then two, I've got people looking because everyone loves a child's laughter. So Jackson decides the next best thing to do in this hilarious situation is to just jump up, grab the elastic on my boxers, and just drop to the ground, taking them with him. So I am literally, this is, there's, there's no like exaggeration or joke. I'm literally standing there buck naked in the entryway of Walmart, and I'm frozen in terror, just standing there staring. Every single person, people from the back are coming out, just staring at my, my new bathing suit area. And I mean, and it was cold out. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's summer, but it, it was cold out. Um, so yeah, a, a woman in a motorized wheelchair stops inches from me. <laughs> Starts cackling like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm li literally every single person in Rala, I think, was at Walmart at this time. And so now when I regain myself about 15, 20 minutes later, I'm trying to pull up my pants and my boxers with Jackson's just laying down on my pile of clothes because he thinks it's hysterical. He knows what he knows what he's doing. He's a demonic evil child. I've told you this. So I have to wrestle with him. I had to basically just pick him up and toss him upwards, hoping he lands in the cart, and then pull myself together and just go running off, re weeping, shrieking um, into the afternoon. Um, so yes, yes, that was a very, very bad day. Um, I've got a lot of posit positive feedback um, about my junk from the people of Walmart. Um, so yeah, if you ever hear anybody talking about that uh, 
half nude man that uh, will probably have to go door to door now for exposing himself in front of a variety of children. Hey, that's me. I'm famous now. Uh, so yeah, enjoy that. Um, like I said, uh, hopefully I've got my camera issues resolved, so you'll see these a lot more often than me spending the last week trying to figure out why I looked like Max Headroom on the first one. Um, anyway, so that does it. That's the end. Um, stay tuned, like this if you like it, and then like it if you don't like it. All right, you guys take it easy. Bye-bye.